Hi guys. I am Richard Espromonti. Today I want to investigate the various sample modes available in Jada. We will focus on one-shot modes. They are great if you want bind samples to your keyboard or MIDI controller, using Jada as a drum machine or sound effects player. Let's go. I've loaded a bunch of samples in the first column. The highlighted area shows the current sample mode for the channel. Click on the icon to reveal a menu with all the available sample modes to choose from. We will focus on the one-shot family. Just a side note, I have bound the channels to my keyboard, so when I press Q, W, E, Z or X, the corresponding sample will play. By the way, the first mode is the one-shot basic. It's great for any kind of samples, especially the long ones. With this mode, you press the key and the sample starts playing, until the end. Now, if I press the key while the channel is still playing in one shot basic mode, the sample will stop. Let's check it out. Amazing! Now I want to show you another one-shot mode, the so-called one-shot press. In this mode, the sample will play as long as you press the key. That was easy. Let's try the so-called one-shot retrig mode. It's similar to the one-shot basic, with a subtle difference, though. In this mode, if you press the key while the channel is still playing, the sample jumps to the beginning, and continues to play from there. Let's take a look. One shot retrig mode is particularly interesting for drumming with long samples. See what happens if I use the one-shot basic mode for a solo drum session. It sucks. Let's switch to the one-shot retrig mode we have just seen and try to drum again. Much, much better now. Finally I want to experiment with the last mode, called Endless. This one is pretty sick and it's my favorite. It basically plays the sample constantly. Let's check it out. To stop it, press the key again. Wait a minute, the channel changed its color. What's that? If you stop a sample which is in one shot endless mode, the channel waits until the sample has reached the end. If you want to stop it right away, just press shift in the corresponding key. One shot endless mode is useful when you want to create complex sound textures. I did a small experiment with a couple of audio plugins. Ooh yeah. Okay guys, that's all for now. In the next tutorial we will cover the so-called loop modes along with the mighty sequencer. Get ready. Thanks for watching.